In this video I will show you how to clean your gap fans and change thermal paste. And I'm gonna do it on that Samsung laptop from 2013. Uh, as you can see on IDLE we have 49 degree on CPU, which is Core i5 3230M and uh, 45 on GPU. Now I will start the uh, Prime 95 and full mark for a few minutes and I will check that temperatures again. Okay, and as you can see after about 5 minutes, GPU temperature is about 95 degree. And uh, CPU is 91. And uh, air coming out is about 69. Yeah, 69 degree. So I will stop the test because I don't want to broke this laptop. So now I will disassemble it and show you how to clean the fans and change thermal paste. Okay, so as you can see, there's not a lot inside, but we are interested in this area. So, first I will unplug pan cable. And now we can unscrew it. So 
So, that's the fun. I'm not sure that camera will focus on this. But there's not a lot of dust there. And let's have a look on the heat sink. It's also not bad. So let's check uh, thermal paste. And I have to say that this heat sink isn't very big. And I'm surprised that there's not a lot of dust there. Okay, so... As you can see, the thermal paste is dried out. It should be replaced. The most important thing is to remove all paste before playing the one and I'm saying this because I've already seen uh, two layers of paste on CPU and that's not good And for cleaning out thermal paste, I recommend uh, isopropyl alcohol, some towels, and uh, cotton buds. From my experience, you should replace that paste every one or two years. And it's depending what type of laptop you have, because uh, in high-end laptops, uh, the gaming ones, uh, temperatures of components are much higher, so the thermal compound will dry out uh, faster.
Okay, so now when you have everything clean, it should be shiny. Also, we are heatsink. To put new thermal compound, and I'm using uh, this thermal grisgi. I think it's it's best compound that you can you can buy. And sadly, it isn't sponsored video. <laughs> And there's also good thing about this that it's not uh, conducting electricity. So even if you put it on whole border, it shouldn't broke your computer. But. Uh, it's also not recommended to put too much compound. Heatsink back and don't tie it, uh, any screw to the end until you until you screw all others. I would recommend to. make about two three turns
because you don't want to put your compound uh, just on one side of CPU or GPU. Another chip which I will also check. And as you can see there's Thermopath there. But it's very hard already, so I will change it as well. And before taking this out, I will uh, check the thickness, because there are uh, many, many uh, types of them, uh, from half millimeter to, I think the biggest one I've seen was two millimeters, but maybe the more sizes And for thermopaths, I recommend using the phobia. And the thermopaths also have this... Um, just a second... Thermal conductivity. And as you can see for this, this space it's uh, 12.5 watt per meter times Kelvin. I'm not sure what it means. <laughs> But it's big value, and uh, phobia thermopaths also have good, good uh, thermal conductivity. I think it's one of the uh, biggest one. So. Those are it's from AAB cooling and it's one millimeter. And I'm sure that it's too much. Okay. 
those look the same. Yeah. Like this one is co correct size, so I can remove the old one, which is very flat on center. parts in uh, GPUs and they are used to cool the memory chips So now I can put it back. It wasn't necessary to change that part looking with how this heatsink looks. Probably it's it's not gonna be very hot because they will put something better than just a small aluminum plate. So now I will go outside to clean that fan and for this you can use uh, compressed air and a uh, little brush or vacuum cleaner with with little brush to to get uh, get the dust out from between the blades so see you in a moment okay so now i will put the, the fan back
Okay, so as you can see, after a few minutes we have uh, 87 degree on the CPU. And uh, 93 on GPU. And uh, temperature of uh, heat going out is uh, 60, 68, 69 degree. So there's not much difference than before. But as I told, that uh, thermal compound have to uh, get some cycles of heat and cool, so those temperatures will be better after a few days of use. And as you can see, it's not too hard to clean your own laptop. And of course, it depends of uh, brand and model. Some are easier to disassemble, and some like uh, that Samsung are very, very, very easy. But I had. Uh, MSI, I think it was, and uh, it was very hard to, to disassemble. There was a lot of uh, clips that you can broke. So every time you should uh, check on internet to to see if maybe somebody disassembled it, so you will find some tips. How to do it but it took me about one hour to disassemble this and and put it back so you should consider doing this by yourself let me know in comment sections below what do you think of that type of video have you ever cleaned your laptop by yourself uh, if not, what you're afraid of, so maybe I will m make more detailed video of that. And of course, thank you for watching. If you like that video, put the thumb up. Consider subscribing. And see you in the next video.